All right, so I wanted to make sure that I put another video out where I'm offering a little bit of commentary. I've been doing more of this in my videos lately as well, but I know some of you guys like when I do the little breakdowns where I talk about what's happening, and I want to make sure I'm putting this out for you as well. Um, I had a little bit of a slow month. I only put out maybe five, six videos last month. I think it was six. Um, it was just kind of a busy month for me. Had a lot going on. Bought a, bought a house, bought a car, had a birthday, you know, so it was a little bit busy, right? Um, so when you, when you go through phases like that, you just can't be hard on yourself. A lot of us will beat ourselves up, think we should do a bunch more stuff, and we'll spend days um, knocking our progress. And it just, that kind of stuff just slows you down. Take the good with the bad, some up, some downs. Um, you know, other than that, just keep pressing forward. Uh, so I dusted myself off, knocked out a few videos and got myself, you know, kind of back on track. So make sure that, you know, this month's, this month's advice is going to be me telling you that it's not all about just pushing as fast as you can push. Um, but it's about getting yourself back on track when you notice you're getting off, you know, uh, I guess that sounded a little dirty when you're getting off track, you need to just get yourself back on, just do something fun when you like get inspired and, you know, and, and do it. And, and I draw inspiration from the craziest of places today. I did a video entirely because someone I know posted a video of, of Eddie Vedder singing and I absolutely love Pearl Jam. And so I did a Pearl Jam song. You know, it's as simple as that. You can find inspiration in the in the the simplest of spaces. So, you know, make sure you're doing that. Um, the other thing I wanted to touch base about, I feel like, is that if you're getting bored, which is really easy to do when you're you know when you're doing stuff like this. Um, maybe not a hundred videos, you're gonna get bored, but maybe disinterested is a little better than bored or you feel like you've done it all right so one of the ones i did if you'll notice i did these eyes which is I, I tapped backwards and got um got some stuff that my dad would be listening to and it challenged me um oh my god the chords in that compared to some of the stuff i usually do like my pearl jam song was three chords the these eyes was a little bit of picking and and maybe nine different chords you know so it was a lot busier and that just that invigorates you when you get something like that done. And man, that one took me like 20 takes or something like that. Most of them I do, you know, if you guys are paying attention, I do these in one or two takes. Maybe three. Ugh, I get tired, but I wanted to make sure I did this before I went to bed. Um, so, so just make sure that you're doing stuff like that. And, and even if you don't, even if you're not really feeling it, like, like today, I'm just not tired. You know, I bought a car today, a lot of, you know, a lot of stress. Um, you know, good stress can, can wear you out too. So uh, if you ever went on vacation and came back tired, <laughs> it happens to me all the time. So, you know, at least take a minute and, and pick your instrument up, even if it doesn't make sense. Uh, even, if, even if you don't feel like you're accomplishing anything. I, I feel like that a lot, actually. You know, so if, there you go. There's something valuable I can put in this video. Um, sometimes I'll pick my guitar up and I'll play it for an hour and I'll feel like I did absolutely nothing. I'll feel like I went backwards. I'm not as good of a guitar player today as I was yesterday, right? But that's not reality. That's just, that's in our brains. And it's, it's, it's making us doubt ourselves. All practice is good practice. I know people are going to tell you lots of things like perfect practice makes perfect. Yes, that's true and all that. But you still have to pick the instrument up to practice, right? And every practice isn't going to be good practice. But you have to do the bad practices too. You don't just get to opt out when it doesn't go your way, you know? Like, I, I, I realize that that seems like it's obvious, but it's not. I guarantee you there are some of you, and I'm myself included, that have a practice and you're like, I didn't get jack out of that practice at all you know what i mean but that's not real that's not real you did it just might not be what you want it to get out of it now that's something totally different right so then you play it you put it down you pick it up you do it again sometimes you fall off a bike and then you get back on it you can ride better 
It's not that the falling off was good. It was just part of the process. So, you know, I'm going to keep this one, you know, short. You know, maybe this is just a little over five minutes. And, um, and again, I try not to edit these things because I want you to see that every thought that we have is not completely coherent. It's not going to just flow. And it really bothers me watching videos where people cut out all the crap and just show you the good stuff. Because, I mean, even though you can see it, it just gives you the idea that they're not the same as you. And, uh, you know, that I really want you to see that we're the same. We're just trying to to progress our art. And, and one of the things that makes me a little different is I'm not afraid to look bad in front of you on the camera. I just, I'm not. That was really, really hard for me to get over. Um, you know, like, I would never do a video with my hair look like that, right? I would never do a video with my beard look like that, right? I would have to be perfect. But most of your days, you're not perfect. So I'm really focused on maintaining a realism in what I'm doing. And... And I constantly remind myself of that because I'm very self-conscious about, you know, where my eyes are and, you know, I don't know, a bunch of other ridiculous stuff that I've been taught over time that I just don't believe in anymore. Um, and I'm just battling to knock that out. And so, you know, there's my extra rant on top of what I was doing today. But pick your instrument up. Do something with it. Make a video. Um, and even if you don't like it, you can delete it. It's okay. It's, you know, you're nobody's going to be upset if you push the delete button, right? Like, you know, but, um, but to that end, I put this stuff out because I want to get over all that. And I want, and again, I want you to see it. Um, and, uh, I think we're going to leave it there for the day. I hope you guys, you know, do something, do even if it's wrong. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. I hope you like my videos, like, comment, subscribe, you know, do something down there. Um, you know, share something if you think it's valuable or, or good, or, or funny, or stupid, or, or whatever. It's all good. I'm going to take the good with the bad. All right, we'll see you next time. Have a great day.